Cup final Saturday in the Highlands. The excitement is building. It's an historic day for both Scottish and Welsh football as for the first time a team from outside of Scotland will compete for the Iron Brew Cup. The time is now. Conis Key Nomads against Ross County in Inverness to decide the destination of the 2019 Iron Brew Cup. Here goes Boyle, well advanced for Brian Graham. Picks out McManus, cutting in field, Farquharson has to be careful. It was Cowie in the end with the effort. Well, there's five Connors Key players in the six yard box, at least as many defenders plus goalkeeper. It is a packed area in there. Another one launched into the middle. It breaks away of Bakari. And scrambled clear by Keith Watson. It's so difficult. You know, the ball is coming in with so much pace. There's so much aggression from the Connors Key players that they don't allow Ross County to get any half decent clearance on it. You know, it's, if it's not first balls, it's second balls are looking to win. Here it's even third and the fourth attempts. There's Parker to Bakari. Chance here for Bakari! Oh, what a goal that is! A touch of class from Michael Bakari. And Connors Key Nomads have the breakthrough in the Iron Brew Cup final. The 400 mile trip was well worth it for that. Wow, what a finish that is. But I think Ross County will be disappointed with the defending all over the place. Keith Watson doesn't win the first header. Marcus Fraser does nothing with the second one. But let's not take anything away from Michael Bakari. He has an excellent first touch. He sets himself up and he just whips the ball into the top corner. Marcus Fraser, just defend. Don't go diving into things. But it's all about Michael Bakari from here on in. It's about composure, lifting his head and having the power to get it into that top corner. What a way to open the scoring. Bakari, the goal scorer to take it. It's Barton who got a touch on, oh, what a chance. George Horan, the captain, he knows it. He just had to keep it down. He should have scored. It's soft defending from Ross County. They're loose and they're defending. Ross Stewart misses the first one. Brian Graham, a centre forward back, picking up George Horan, but what a miss that is. Ross County unable to find their rhythm as yet. Oh dear, that's a massive mistake by Monroe. He makes up for it with the save to deny Owens, and that could be a really big moment in this tie. Monroe holds his hand up in apologies, but that was almost an incredible mistake by the young goalkeeper. Got away with it. He looked nervous, didn't see the ball come back to him. He didn't look comfortable with it. That's Ross County playing in the wrong areas. And Tyson, Connors Kino Mads on to you to put you under pressure, put your laces through it. This is what it's all about for this young man, experience. It wasn't. The vast majority of the crowd who have made the very short journey across the Keswick Bridge. Just over 10 miles between Dingwall and Inverness. Gardine and Stewart is in there, ahead of the goalkeeper, it's knocked off the line. Well, somehow, the score remains at 1-0. Ross Stewart thought he'd scored, I think. Most of the Nomads players thought that, first of all, there was going to be a free kick, then it played on. And Ross County will also make a change, and Declan McManus is heading off, and he'll be replaced by Josh Mullen, a player who can make a difference. He's got the... Watson again. Marcus Fraser, the skipper. Trying to play in Mullen here, it's a great run from Mullen! And they have found their way through! They were desperate for an equaliser, and it comes from the substitute, Josh Mullen, just off the bench. What an impact that is, and it turns the Iron Brew Cup final on its head. And it's fully deserved, but just look at the running power of Josh Mullen, the freshness. Does him in, Danny Holmes can't keep up with him. Then we spoke about that little bit of luck through the goalkeeper's legs. He's probably expecting the cross, John Danby. 
Josh Mullen goes through his legs and I think it's fully deserved. They've been dominant in the second half, they've had chances, they've been pushing, they've been probing. Movement. And they're struggling to deal with Gardine right now. Another good carrying run from him, he was taken down by Barton who is unimpressed but here goes Van der Veg, it's a cross for Ross Stewart, can he tee up Mullen? Oh, what a difference he has made! What an impact from Josh Mullen! There's a cup final brewing here, and Ross County have turned it completely around now, from one down to two one up. Fantastic from Josh Mullen. Joining in the play, getting involved, and you have to credit Stephen Ferguson and Stuart Carroll well. They changed it at a crucial moment. They were behind in the game, they brought a player on who they thought could get them back into the game, and boy has he delivered. As the ball comes in, it's an excellent play from Ross Stewart, but the tiredness, the fatigue of the Nomads midfield players can't match that of Josh Mullen. He follows it up well, and Ross County are in the driving seat. They've been relentless in this second half, and they've struggled at times in the second half, the Nomads. When the midfield players, the wide players of Ross, uh, Ross County have ran in behind Josh Mullins' first goal. Michael Gardine again going beyond the play. The running power, they haven't been able to keep up. Well, Ross County would love a third. The two goals came in quick succession to get them in front. Both of them from Josh Mullen. Gardine. Now Lindsay, and that will do it. Jamie Lindsay with the third. That surely puts Ross County's name on the Iron Brew Cup for the third time. Kept his cool, kept his composure, picked out the corner. And Ross County from one down now have a two goal cushion. They've had to be patient, they've had to bide their time. They've had the upper performance in the second half, but they have been a level above in this second half. Good short corner, excellent touch by Jimmy Lindsay, and finds a corner of the net. Relief, I'm sure, in the Ross County dugout, but fully deserved, as in the second half, they have been streets ahead. Phillips. It's the clock. Tips down and Alan Muir has one final look at his watch. They had to dig deep. They had to dig really deep. But Ross County have managed to pull out a victory when for long periods it looked so unlikely. Andy Morrison's nomads battled like warriors for 70 minutes. But that man there was the difference maker. Josh Mullen off the bench to score twice and turn this Iron Brew Cup final on its head before Jamie Lindsay added a third late on. It was a spectacular Cup final, and Ross County had to come from behind. They had to fight really hard for this. And that is why it will mean all the more to them. Ross County are the 2019 Iron Brew Cup champions. And history wasn't quite to be for Connors Key and Nomads, but as the first non-Scottish side to play in the Iron Brew Cup final, they have made a very, very fine account of themselves. But there's a party in Dingwall tonight. Josh Mullen is the toast of the Highlands. The start of the road to relegation redemption. Ross County are the 2019 Iron Brew Cup winners.